Hey there, my name is La Yemi Fearless and right now I am at the Premier Cool Father's Day celebration and I will be talking to some cool dads and some yet to be dads and it promises to be fun. <laughs> Let's go. Exciting. It, it changes your life. In one word. <laughs> Oh. Amazing. Um, fulfilling. Walking. Fulfilling. Sacrifice. Majestic. I think ecstatic. Blessed. There is no word to describe if you're not being a father. When I'm hungry, I'm very emotional. Um, so hunger makes me emotional and um, pain really. When I see people around me in pain, that really gets to me. Uh, I'm a very personal person. So when people around me uh, in pain, I get emotional. This part of the world where we are, I see a lot of kids on the streets begging and for me, I get really emotional because I look at it that, you know, these kids, the only difference between me and them is opportunity. That's basically it. And you can't, there's really nothing I can do and it makes me feel a bit helpless. And even if there's something you can do, a lot of them are programmed okay. to stay in that system. So it's really, it gets me emotional a lot of times. Um, I'm not very emotional, but what makes me emotional as a married man um, is probably when my wife is not not in her element. Um, I, I think generally when I see um, success stories, so people striving beyond all odds to achieve something, I think it really gets me emotional. Uh, I've seen a movie, that I mean, as a matter of fact, there's a movie that every time I see the movie, I'm always crying. Uh, I don't know if you've seen um, the book, I'm not sure the movie. Uh, um, the White Lie. Um, it's a story about immigrants, and um, that makes me cry a lot. There's a particular scene that I, I will always cry, um, that particular scene. Um, so I cry when I see a good movie. I might probably go way back. I'll probably talk about Set It Off. That's one of my most emotional movies ever. So I'd say, what, three idiots? Hmm. Up. Have you seen that animation? Yes. Up is probably the most emotional because it was kind of intense for me. You know, you know, you're just watching an animated, you know, movie. It's all feel good. They discover a lot of hidden messages, like when the when his wife died, they discover that the kid that he thought was real was not even real. It was just an angel taking him to heaven. So really, really emotional movie. Fatherhood for me is being present. Just being there. Uh, I learned how to change diapers, basically. <laughs> you have to always show up, be there for them, be responsible for everything they have to do. You realize that they look up to you for so many things. I learned to be patient. How to be very patient, man, and how not to put yourself first. You know how it is now, like when you want to go, like, yo, I got to... Guys, I got to get dressed, I got to go. Now, it's not about I got to get dressed, I got to go. You know, you got to wake up, make sure Zane is fine, make sure he's had something to eat. You know, if he's not feeling too well, make sure he's spicy some more. You know, all this stuff is in check. So you want to be present for them and you want to be knowledgeable because they're very intelligent and they ask so many questions. The continuous learning experience, right? Which is, um, I, I can't remember the, the last time I had to constantly be Googling every single thing that I experienced. You know, the kid is throwing a tantrum, how do I deal with it? Um, you're trying to teach the kid and he's not learning at the pace at which you want. How do you deal with that? While all this kind of seems like it's a bit stressful, I am actually having the best time of my life because this is a one-time experience. You don't pay for it, but you actually experience it and you enjoy it. So I'm just diving in there and just whatever I see, it's fun. Like I just have fun. Daddy, I love you. Really emotional. It made my heart melt. Because I didn't grow up hearing my father say that I love you, um, the first time each of my sons said I love you for me was very, very important and very memorable. Um, love you, that's a big one. Um, and I get that more than the mother, so that's a bonus. They love their mom more. <laughs> if I'm standing here, and my wife is standing here, and my daughter is standing there, she will crawl and come to me. One thing was when uh, I was away and she called and said, her mom called, took the phone and she was like, I miss you, come home now, come home now, come home now. I was, I was broken. I think the most emotional things for me are very little. Like when I smile and she smiles back. When, when my child rejects everyone except me, they were not feeling fine. And they came to me and said to me that, Daddy, we love you, we know you want us to feel okay. 
please can you take this injection for us it touched my hands like i for the first time in my life i felt like being sick for them so when he climbs off the bed and he wants me to play with him then he comes and he grabs me by the arm and he pulls me off the bed and he's trying to pull me somewhere like it's just so cool like you're like who's this guy where are you taking me man what's happening in your world the mistake that my mother made is beating me for fun my mother beat us as if he's a sport like <laughs> So my dad was an old schooler compared to my age, so he did not really get my generation, basically. But still, he was a very, very good father. I, I think my, my dad was very protective. Um, he wanted the best for us, so I mean, the way he showed that was trying to, you know, guide you a little too much across each step of the way, uh, trying to make you avoid mistakes. For me, for, with my kids, I think I'll be a lot more open to allowing them explore, um, just doing what they feel like um, is best for them. I think sometimes you need to discuss, um, but my father is not the one that will talk. Um, it will beat you then, after the beating, we will not discuss. So I think that, that for me doesn't work really, for me. I want to be a loving father. I, I, I want to be the father that my, my kids can come to with anything, any sort of request. More friendly, uh, more of a friend than a father figure, a protector, a friend. I want to be friends with my kids. Uh, the kind of father I will probably be will be the one that will spoil the child. Um, I, I'm hoping that my wife can get to discipline because personally, we go rough and just chop knock with them. Don't do that again, you know. Don't do it again. Just, just you know, do better. The most ridiculous thing my daughter ever said to me was, Daddy, sit down. Don't be naughty. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you little. Darling, ah, yeah. <laughs> um, why do I like slapping mommies behind? My wife and I try to keep fit, so yeah. But we had a friend come in, and I was like, "Oh, you have such a big stomach." Oh yeah, are you ready? She she has a mind of her own, and when she doesn't want something, she'll let you know she doesn't want it. And so sometimes I'm just like, "No, I know more than you. I'm your father. You should eat now." And she will slap the bottle out of my hand or slap me. So calling me mom and i think he knows what he's doing when he does that <laughs> so uh amber that's uh the first so she got a wind of the <laughs> the um receipts um school fees receipts and she saw it i don't know how and then she came up to my bed and and then she said well done daddy you know <laughs> thank you for sending us to school <laughs> um and she patted my head like you know like Hey, Aquile. So this is what you're paying. <laughs> I think we were on a drive. I was like saying to her, okay, how do you multiply? I think, I can't remember. It was like, what, six by three or something like that. And she was reaching for her calculator and said, man, you're reaching for your calculator for that. Then she says, dad, it's not everyone who is a genius. You know that? And actually that made me to sober up and I became to actually, I began to understand my children a lot more from that and like you don't push them to be not what they are, but you actually support them to be what they want to be. Zane likes to jump off things, man. You know, he gives me a heart attack, like, he likes to jump off high places. He's like the jump off kid, you know. He'll climb the TV stand and he will want to jump off. I'm like, Papa. Do you know how much head is in the market? It's like you can't order that thing, you get I can't remember. That's why it's worse. I can't, I can't remember. The point about it is, I just wanted to tell the lady that I know her. And I said, I, 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 I think we're turning the same nostril school, really, really. And I'm in our mind, like, really, nostril school, you think I remember? But I actually did. At some point, she realized it, but at that point, I don't really use pick up lines. So, how do you do it? They just come to me. Women just come to me. <laughs> I think changing diapers, even though I have to do it a lot. I think the world should be changing diapers. That's why I went is number two. The one I don't enjoy the most is the part when my wife says she's going to change the diaper because the one that changed it last time. And I know that. It's not me that shits that shit. The one that shits the shit will not be smiling at me and see if everything is okay, which is not. Because you know, diapers is, every day is a new day with diapers, man. You're always gonna get something different the next time you come through. You know, sometimes, you know, he's giving you something hard. Sometimes he's like splashing at you. You know, sometimes it's watery. But even though I don't enjoy it much, I think it's 
it's a pleasure that I look forward to as well. Babysitting, ah, it's stressful. You know, they'll be crying. It's, yeah, like, no. Nah, like, one kid can wear, can wear, like, 10 adults out. I think they're taking care of kids when they are sick. I mean, nobody wants their kid to be sick. At that point, I think kids, they speak in a different language, which only the mother understands. I know you really enjoyed watching that, yeah? But I just really hope that it gives you some sort of perspective on the kind of dad you want to become. For me, it feels really good celebrating fathers today, and it's a big thank you to Premier Cool for recognizing our dads. Don't forget to say something nice to your father today, yeah? Bye-bye.